Hi, my name is Zara Phillips. Welcome to Arts Up Close. Today, I'm at Jinx Proof Tattoo Shop. But it is something that's going to be on you for the rest of your life. So you should think about it. Try to get something that's classic. I'm thrilled today to have Daryl McDaniels from Run DMC, the first rap band to go platinum, gold, be on MTV, go on to Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone. I forget how we did all of that sometimes. Really? Yeah. Does it feel like? A long time ago. Well, no, not really. It feels like because um, it was so much fun. To see if I can find anybody from the street that lives in Montclair. There's a man right here. Do you live in Montclair? No, but I have a wonderful store in Montclair. Make it through you. And they they have these wonderful men's shoes, also a men's Blue department. Suede. Blue suede, signature shoe. Here's another Bruce Wade shoe that's a little more conservative for this. Yes, I believe in you. Hi, I'm so happy today to have Andrew Cohen, who's a photographer in Montclair. And he is a figure that you see around town. I mean, I see the world in some real terms, especially in Montclair. People will come up and it, it makes them think, like, well, what do we know in our own family that perhaps we never really took the time to find out or couldn't? And maybe um, with patience, a lot of patience <laughs> and persistence, you know, you can tease out more of these stories, stories that are almost, you know, they're strangers in fiction, right? <laughs> Here I am inside the store, Swap Exchange, with Beth Fiona. Hello. FedEx. <laughs> FedEx. We have, I, I would say about 30% of the stores devoted solely to men's and men's vintage. And for New Jersey, that's a rarity in the consignment and resale business. I'm saying there's got to be a line there where she comes out and everybody like cleaners for her. Everybody like cleaners for life. There's got to be a line. And I'm sleeping one day and I, it's blank, blank, five oh. I'm busy. I'm like, the line. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. I called Rick. I said, "I got the line." Everyone wants attention. You know, I had these role models. Uh, there were, because I grew up in the '60s, there were the Beatles and Bob Dylan and Jimi Hendrix. You know, there were all these wonderful influences, and and I, and they kind of paved the way or they were something to reach for. On this episode, I'm going to be talking to Vinny Lopez, a pioneer in the music industry. Danny and I walked in the upstage and sure enough, there was Bruce and little Vinny Roslin and big Bobby Williams on drums and they were playing. So when they got done, Danny and I went to them and said, hey, let's, let's us jam. So we got little Vinny and Bruce. And me and Danny, we got special permission from Tom Potter to jam. And we played for like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And then we went right downstairs to the Green Mermaid and made a band. 